Hello, Joshers. Welcome back for another episode of Jeezy Box. Today, we're going to be talking about The Forever Purge. Newest addition to the Purge series. They also have a TV show if you haven't checked it out. Uh, I tried to watch it and it was it was just not for me. Really what the purge mainly has going for it is the concept. It's a fun social question, well fun. Now unlike most of the purge movies which have like a lot of like blah 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 at the beginning of the movie, this one pretty much jumps right into the purge and we see some pretty disturbing clips and then boom, purge is over. But we're not that far into the movie yet. Hold on, that joke works better with a watch. But we're not that far in the movie yet. so. That's because in this one, The Forever Purge, we're going to just have straight up murder and anarchy and all of that continue after the purge. Basically, uh, the United States has gotten tired of the wealthy elite benefiting off of the purge while they, you know, kill those that are low income or even middle class. This one takes place in Texas, good old Texas. We've got a uh, couple ranch hands, uh, and this one we definitely get into with it taking place in Texas and the massive having the massive wall that they have to cross over. We're getting a little bit political in this one. Like that's anything new in this series. It begins by saying that people are fleeing from the cartel down in Mexico into the United States. We've got the the purge goes on and it's kind of, you know, just another yearly purge. And then it continues after that fact and Mexico and Canada open up their borders for the next like six or seven hours. You can go over into those countries, but you only have that window of time. No weapons, you can't bring any weapons with you because obviously they don't want to continue what's going on. But because of the anarchy and everything that's going on in America, they're giving an opportunity back to us uh, to leave our country and survive. Now the main characters leave their super well-protected ranch that they have for some reason. It's literal anarchy. The writing is even anarchy. Like it's just, it's so rudderless and some of the decisions are just so silly. Like we're not gonna pick up a bad guy's gun, but how about you and me? We both grab lassos and then we'll team up in one part with our lassos and take this guy down with a gun, which is gonna stop him from shooting someone that he's holding hostage with a gun directly. It's just silly. It's cartoonish. This was arguably, in my opinion, the worst Purge movie. I, I thought the whole thing from start to end was just why? Why? Yeah. Uh, really, the movie should have just, you know, cut to credits uh, with them in their compound. I had to get the taste of that movie out of my mouth. Yuck. Movie was silly. I do not recommend this one. If you're gonna watch The Purge, watch any of the earlier ones and why dress like you when you can wear me. Thank you.